Hey everybody, guess who's back? Probably you're back because you did 22.2. Everybody, it is the final week of the 2022 CrossFit Open 22.3 to be announced Thursday, 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard, 12 Pacific. We know that there is still a pull up rig that was in the equipment list that we haven't used yet. We know that there's a jump rope that was on the equipment list that hasn't been used yet. Um, we know there's plenty of movements that we haven't seen yet. So your guess is as good as mine as to what that movement or what that workout's actually going to look like. So um, just be prepared for the unknown and the unknowable, as we say in the CrossFit world. And the best way to do that is to show up to class and show up and work out. So this week, the, the programming is not planned for the open it is programmed just like any other week but how you attack the workouts how you take the workouts on is up to you and how you want to prepare yourself for friday's workout now remember this friday the workout will show up in classes but i encourage everyone to hang out and hold off and come friday night for friday night lights so we will sign up. We will have heats. You can sign up for heats and come knock this workout in. At, at, come and knock this workout out Friday night under the lights and for our annual Fairwinds CrossFit Open Intramural Open party. So it'll be a nice little potluck. Bring whatever you like. Just bring food. Hang out. Don't bring food if you don't feel like it. Just come hang out, work out, have fun, and let's enjoy this wonderful community centered around fitness that we enjoy so much. So that's Friday. Going back to the week again, you can take this week however you want, whether it's prepping for the open or just trying to get some good old fashioned workouts in. So you'll see there's actually two heavy days this week, a nice little, both Olympic lifts. So the clean and jerk and the snatch, um, both of those are gonna be working up to some heavy singles, some variations of that. So good heavy days, a great way to um, lower the volume a little bit, keep the intensity down a little bit for those that are looking to minimize. Um, you can also just use it if you wanna keep the loading down, just work through the technique and still get a good sweat on. Tuesday and Wednesday, you have a nice little interval running workout and then a nice little rowing um, shoulder to overhead or push press couplet. So those are two that are really easy. If you want to ramp up that intensity and go hard and go fast and just do what you get, do what you need to do. Great workouts to do that, but also very easy to manage scaling again from a, I want to lighten it up a little bit, keep the intensity a little bit lower because I know I want to be able to go hard on Friday. Okay, so again, this week is a great way if you're just trying to get the best workouts you possibly can in throughout the week, awesome. And if you're looking to kind of keep your keep the intensity down, keep the range of motion down, keep the uh, keep the volume down, knowing that you've got you're gonna have a lot of work to do on Friday, you have it. There you go. With the open ending, um, again, a couple things you need to remember: get your team points. So log your score, get your team's three points. If you've got a picture of you in your Fairwind swag, please make sure you send it to your captain, Juliana or Sarah. After Monday, we'll tally up all those points that the teams have so you know going into the week, how can I get my team those points? How close are we? Because I can tell you, it is pretty darn close right now. Um, and find out who will be the Fairwinds CrossFit Intramural Creek Cup champion. Now, remember, there are plenty of people that will get it done on Friday, but they still have till Monday to complete it. Uh, so 22.2, 22 .2, you have tomorrow to get this workout in. And then 22.3, you will have Monday as well. I already know there's a handful that are going to need to wait to do it Monday because of other prior engagements. So we'll find out who that Creek Cup champion is. But bring it all. If you have any other questions about that, make sure you talk to your captains as well. Um, once the open is over, the month, the focus of the month will shift slightly. We're going to do some gymnastics work. So you're going to see a little bit more extra gymnastics skill, um, in class and the warmups and the workouts. You'll even have some opportunities to do some, um, pre-workout or post-workout gymnastics stuff. Some stuff that maybe you found you are so close or even new gymnastics skills you may have found in the open. What gymnastic skills might they be? Well, burpees. Burpees are a gymnastic skill. Box jumps are a gymnastic skill. Wall walks are a gymnastic skill. What other gymnastic skills have we not seen? Nor do we know we may or may not have. So that's the shift going into the rest of March after the Open. But let's have a fun week this week, as we always do. 
22.2 comes out Thursday. You're hitting it on Friday, possibly Monday, and uh, a new Creed Cup champion will be crowned within the next week. So uh, have a great one, and we will see you all on the Creek.